Hey, I'm Adam Thompson. I'm a consultant in strategy and organizational design, and this is this week's effort on my whiteboard. This one from my five-year-old. Pretty nice, eh? Okay, let's get rid of that, because today I want to talk about this weird little organizational fantasy I've got called Truth Serum. Let's get right into it. This idea came to me through a combination of three people you would never put together. The first two are right here. This is Jan de Visch and Otto Lasker, and their book is called Dynamic Collaboration. It is absolutely brilliant in terms of what's required in emotional and cognitive development and how teams can actually work together, particularly self-organizing teams. Then the thing this combines with is Jim Carrey. Yep. Jim Carrey, and particularly the film Liar Liar. Now in their book, Otto and Jan go through the concept of job one and job two. Let me go through it. First, I'll draw up job one. And job one is the job that you're taking care of every day, doing the tasks that are in front of you. You need to have competency skills and that sort of thing. Job two is what's surrounding job one, and it's deliberately drawn up like this. And job two is all that work we're putting in every day to be okay emotionally and to be secure and to actually feel like you matter in the world. It's all that stuff that's going on inside of your mind. Now think about your typical meeting. I'll simplify. Uh a line as such can be drawn with absolutely any ink, but if you want to get a red line, you need to use red ink. What if we draw them with blue ink? Mm. Where we're going to be in job one most of the time, and even when job two is blaring in our ears, even when we're feeling the tension, the nervousness, the worry, even if we can't feel it, it's still going to be sitting there, we're still going to tend to focus on job one. Now let's talk about Liar Liar, a film from a couple of decades ago where Jim Carrey is an absent dad and he's always making up excuses why he can't catch up with his kid, so his kid makes a wish that his dad can't tell a lie for a day. Then all the entertainment ensues. I can't lie! And the plot's pretty predictable from there, but the reason I love the film is it's magnificent to watch truly eccentric behavior out in reality. The pen is blue. The pen is blue! but it also brings forward a deeper issue about what if we could actually tell the truth. And that's where the idea started to pop into my mind is what if we could actually have a version of truth serum in organizations, just pretending of course, but how would it actually work? Now, when most people think of truth serum, they straight away think about, I'm gonna start telling that person what I really think of, I've never liked them and that sort of stuff. I'm ruling out that for my truth serum, but what I'm gonna rule in is because of our truth serum, your job too, is now gonna be put onto the table. In other words, the real reasons that are going on with you as a vulnerable, frail, just trying to be okay human is now gonna be right up front. And here's the thing, same for everyone else in the team. Same for everyone else in the team. So what would that look like practically? Well, you know the usual situation, someone presents a new idea and we get the usual sitting back, a few people ask some questions, they're supposed to be clarifying, they're really a criticism, and we all eventually agree that we maybe should look into it and the whole thing sort of peters out. Imagine if job two, the truth serum was right on the table, we might start to hear things like this. I think your idea is a good one and I really feel that I should support it, but my fear is that the projects that I'm focusing on won't actually be supported if I support yours, so sorry I can't do that right now. Wouldn't that be refreshing? Some actual truth on the table. What about this when someone is asked in a meeting, could you actually help out with that project? And the real response would be, I'll have to have a look at my calendar to see if I can do it. Imagine if we hear something like this instead. I know I'm supposed to be able to help out with that project, but my big fear is that I'm not actually competent in that area. And if I'm not competent in that area, I'll get found out about some other things I've been worried about for quite a long time. And my fear is that then I'll totally lose the respect of everyone in this room. What would happen? I suspect what we would get after the pure initial weirdness is people actually connecting with each other and we've finally got the missing majority of the work actually out on the table. The reason we can't get agreement, the reason we can't get things moving in the workplace is because we live in job one and all we try to do is just say out loud the factual things, the rational things. And if we can start to bring in some of the intense internal work that's going on, our real reasons that are causing us anxiousness or fear or worry or relation or whatever it might be, now we're like a group of archeologists who aren't just putting little bits on the table, they're putting the whole discovery on on the table, which might allow us to even come to better solutions. So that's just an idea I wanted to give you. To go the whole hog and go nothing but true serum is probably gonna freak out the normal humans. I object, Your Honor, and I move to strike! Mr. Reed, I don't know what you're on. So I wouldn't recommend doing that straight away, but you might consider, perhaps, especially if you're in the leadership role in a group, maybe just offering a bit more about your job too, a bit more about what you're really thinking, a few more of the things that are causing you anxiousness and the like, to maybe start to encourage the groups around you to put the real reasons on the table, including the fact that they're frail humans, instead of the artificial rational ones on the top that are just designed simply to cover up the fact that there's real human stuff going on underneath. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Oh, true, still wrong.